up y'all thanks for tuning into my channel so this is going to be a weekly forecast for the earth signs um is there anything that i have to say um because i'm trying to make this quick because my phone was acting up yesterday with the um water signs like if you're if you have water in your chart that's a there's like a lot of energy there like there's a lot of good things happening um so wherever you you have water placements um that energy is shifting for you guys but anyways so yeah if you guys could like comment share subscribe all that great stuff and get into a comfortable position because we're going to be meditating that's what this is where we're going to be using my singing bowl so everybody get into a comfortable spot and we will begin this meditation y'all so i'm going to be pulling from the goddess guidance oracle deck just to see what the main theme is for the week and then i will go in more detail with the tarot so earth signs what is it that you guys need to know what is it what is this week looking like for the earth signs <laughs> earth signs what is this week looking like for you guys you got vast independent your independence is a foundation for your strength and success okay okay so this week is calling you for is calling for you to be independent but independent in what we will be finding that out with the tarot so what is this independence Ten of Pentacles, so financial independence. Okay, I'm here for it. Uh oh, too many cards. Financial independence. I'm digging it already. Okay, Ace of Swords. Some type of truth, or maybe even a message. Somebody could be emailing you, texting you about an opportunity here, or you might see something posted. Queen of Wands. Okay, you guys need to watch the fire signs because they got the Ace of Swords um, in the same spot. But um, I get that most definitely this is, is probably, this has probably something to do with the business. This moon here, this full moon that we just had in Leo is activating this in, in your charts more. So check wherever you have Leo placed because um, that's where you're going to see a lot of these changes here with this and this this is like like feline energy cat energy so yeah i'm seeing a lot of like independence like being financially independent so what's the ten of pentacles what is the ten of pentacles we have the ten of swords here hmm so 10 10 the devil okay this could be negative talk or people like talking shit 10 of cups so 10 10 10 something is changing though it's like if if what you're trying to build was like tainted right by what others had to say 
I feel like it was out of fear. Um, whatever you're doing, and if they were like talking shit or whatever, it's based off of fear and like, it's like they couldn't do it, so what makes this person think they could do it? Um, but it's like that fear is getting in the way of you actually being joyful, like if that makes any sense. Like actually bringing joy and change into your life. You have the two of swords here. Yeah, it brings you guys to a state of like basically confusion. Some of you guys are having to make a choice about where to go and what to do. Nine of Wands. Mm. But it's like it's blocked off for you guys or something like that. Nine of Swords. And it's giving you anxiety. okay cool you got the world card so all of this is changing all of this is changing so if you guys were feeling anxious and feeling like you're blocked and not knowing where to go you will be seeing where you need to go okay you have the knight of wands under the ace of swords so somebody could be coming through with a message or wanting to tell you something like it's like an in and out thing judgment is meant to be like somebody's being guided towards you Okay, an opportunity is being guided to you. Three of Swords. Okay. So this could have been somebody that may have hurt you in the past. It's like they are coming back to right a wrong. Maybe offer up an apology here. Four of Cups. I'm getting that you might not feel like it may be heartfelt. You may be like, oh, okay, like over it. I'm getting that you, you're you already over it, the tower. Hmm. And the strength card. So once again, Leo energy, the feline energy. So if somebody is coming through in like, trying to express something to you they will be like giving you another perspective on something here um and showing you your strength maybe you're seeing their strength as well and the things that they had to go through maybe they're telling you about their tower moment it might bore you like okay like you deserve that shit after what you did to me type shit but at the end of the day it's like a strength of character i really feel like your character is very strong um, and whatever anybody has to say to you this week, it'll just definitely shed some light on some pain from the past. And I feel like you'll be able to move on. Queen of Wands. What is this Queen of Wands? King of Wands. Okay. So this is a true pair here. Definitely watch the fire signs because you guys have a lot of like leo energy this moon is affecting you guys on a very deep level six of cups so some of you guys could have moved on to something else ten of wands it may feel like a burden or maybe some of you guys are still carrying some baggage from this past person. King of Swords. Okay, I get working smarter, not harder. This time we're working smarter, not harder. Five of Swords. Yeah, you're getting over something here, conquering something here. Definitely in the mind. Seven of Cups. I see this as like self-discipline. I see this as self-discipline. Maybe this person taught you to be more disciplined. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they were a Capricorn or they had Capricorn energy. But whatever energy that they had come into your life with and had changed your world, it allowed you to be 
excuse me, more self-discipline because I do see a lot of you guys um, as entrepreneurs or business owners. You have the full. So you guys need to start something new is what I'm seeing or you're about to start something new. This is a business. You're about to be an independent like contractor or something like that. But your business is about your independence, you being free of um, like, like uh, authority. Uh, with the Knight of Pentacles here, it's looking like it's just going to take some time or it has taken some time okay to get out of this energy here or maybe you felt like really alone and like you weren't being seen for a long time with the moon here but the moon is illuminating like spots where you know those emotions from the past have affected you here in your present and your business so yes you guys are definitely moving on from that energy or have moved on from that energy here and I do see you guys taking a leap of faith, doing something new, starting a new business, getting into a new relationship, and getting everything that you deserve and want. Yes, I wanted to say this. Tell me why I wanted to say 11, 11, haha, <laughs> nine of pentacles. You guys will be able to make huge purchases if you guys want to buy um, a new home, an apartment, a condo, whatever, you know, a new car, all that stuff. I see that happening for you guys because of you know like this like a blockage being lifted or something like that or like some type of understanding you guys came to an understanding about like something from the past and now you're able to move forward um whole like your spirit is whole now this week and i love it i love it so how can you guys take care of yourself how can you do okay i can facilitate this you guys gotta ground yourself card number 25 most definitely earth signs ground yourself oh yeah or some of you guys could be capricorns watching this too i did forget about that but um the, the mantra for the week is i'm grounded stable and strong come into the present moment connected with the earth and stabilize yourself in a harmonic state through grounding this practice helps you integrate higher messages and callings by bringing them fully to your physical body through the earth's energy field to ground yourself, sit or walk barefoot on the ground. Meditate on the sensation of connecting with the earth. Close your eyes and imagine your body growing roots into the ground. Visualize the roots going deep all the way to the center of the planet. Picture yourself drawing in the, in the energy from the earth's core and using it to nourish your mind, body, and spirit. When you open your eyes, allow yourself to feel calm, centered, and, and clear. You can also ground yourself by eating a nourishing meal that contains root vegetables, gardening, shaping things with clay, or spending time in nature. Find an activity that, that makes you feel fully present in your body and appreciative of the connection you have to the earth. The journaling prompt for the week is what do you feel after taking the time to connect with the earth physically and through a visual, visualization meditation? Yeah, you guys need to ground yourselves this week because um, there's a lot of like energy and like fire energy is an energy of transformation. And that's exactly what the fire signs got, that they got that card transformation, okay? So if this uh, resonated with you, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, donate to my channel. All the information is in the description box down below. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you later.